Ladies and gentlemen. Echoes dance inside my head. Gentlemen. Breathing life to and ladies. I decided to just create something. Now this was none of my words. I decided to create the quote unquote style, testing something out. And you know what? I like Echoes of the Night. It's blended in with the other songs that were created. It fits. So, Echoes in the Night. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to play in the background. We're going to have a discussion, if you guys don't mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that loop. Okay, let's do one. And we're going to minimize that. A lot of people are contacting me because they, for some reason believe that I am going to handle everything all of their problems all of their issues now technically I have handled all of your problems all of your issues you just didn't realize it nobody else was talking about tax credits or federal credits prior to you hearing it from me because nobody knew that you could do it yeah, of course they knew it. The ones who are in these big, huge office buildings working for these corporations. But when you did it, they told you you couldn't do it. And I kept showing you, yes, you can do it. But they kept telling you, no, you can't do it. And you listened to them. That's okay. I don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to do some math. 75, 75 times 4. Now, 75 times 3 is 300. So that's 375. 75 times 4 is 375. Now, add billion to that. Ladies and gentlemen, I said add billion to it. Now, once you add billion to that, now you have 375 billion. Now add 300, no, excuse me, 400 billion to that. Now you're over $30 trillion. That's what I've sent to the Internal Revenue Service. I wasn't asking for their permission. I don't have to ask for their permission. All I do is simply forgive the debt. We have proof that the lawsuit is filed. We have proof that there is a debt because lawsuits can only be filed if there is a controversy. Like I said, I don't care if they say the clerk of the court didn't sign it. What you all didn't know before we got that stamp on the document which proves the clerk of the court received it, the clerk of the court didn't stamp it, didn't, excuse me, didn't sign it, and they didn't put the court seal on the summons. They received the copy of the summons because you can't file the complaint without the summons. They purposely failed to do that. But like I said, I wasn't worried about that because as was discovered, the Attorney General, Federal Reserve, and the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, each of them opted for convenience they said oh no we ain't got to sign nothing we gonna let y'all do it for us so they did the electronic signature thing but once they did that they waived their right to personal service a lot of people won't understand that but all you got to do is understand it that's the point they waived their right that's all I'm concerned with they had a right and they waived it again that's all I'm concerned with I appreciate them waiving their right. Yay! That's the only issue here. They had the right and they waived it. So, they're in default. That's all that counts. 
there's a UCC filing documenting a security interest even on their cryptocurrency their digital currency all of you are involved in that I know I know it sounds too good to be true no it ain't gonna work that's the first thing people want to say I don't care okay that's why I keep saying I wasn't gonna let nobody take this over and put in their own stupid ideas and <sighs> Lord have mercy this wasn't your design so trying to figure it out through your eyes it's not gonna work life doesn't work that way this is not gonna work that way I mean it really is that simple so what's the final end result of all of this well it works out like this ladies and gentlemen and it, it's really simple the point of the matter is you have remedy all of these court cases like I told you in the six-minute video the gentleman was right it's all financial you guys have all of these credits you were able to create them now create your instruments and do a notice of assignment letter of assignment of the credits the same as the banks do people do the same thing that they do securitize your instruments with the credits they created securitization there was no securitization prior to 1980 go ahead go and look and see if there was anything known as securitization prior to 1980 they created it out of thin air Congress didn't create that a brokerage worker created that working at a brokerage firm y'all really 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 need to pay attention to what's going on when they tell you you can't do something stop listening to them tell you what you can't do I told you my response has always been what do you mean I can't do that man look at that I just made history because I just did it I've had judges tell me well that doesn't oh yes it does unless you can show me a law saying I can't do it and I would love to see that law then I don't want to hear it that's my response to them they don't say another word to me at that point sometimes you might hear well the Supreme Court I don't care what the Supreme Court had to say the Supreme Court doesn't get to make the law I said show me a law I didn't say show me what the Supreme Court said hey I gotta take this a consult once okay ladies and gentlemen that uh, call that I just had lasted about 40 minutes almost um, the gentleman had the consult scheduled and we were going over the nature of the consult now initially he was calling because he wanted me to explain processes to him that's not a consult ladies and gentlemen I don't do that it's not my job to explain to you how to complete a process that's not a consult and nobody they hear consults and i'm sorry that you have people out there that are doing consults the wrong way that they've taken and called something a consult that isn't a consult okay so the, what i do with people is i say go to an attorney and ask him to explain the whole process of something to you and see what he tells you he will tell you no this is a consult Okay, a consult is where you tell somebody what the issues are, what your problems are, and they give you several solutions. Normally, if you're talking to an attorney, he's going to give you three solutions. Two of the solutions are going to be inconsequential, and the last solution would be that you pay him to do it for you. Okay, sorry, it's just the way the game is played. Whereas I will tell you, I can't do it for you. I don't have the time to do it for you. I will tell you what you need to do. I will give you several different suggestions as to what you should or can or possibly may do, but I'm not going to do it for you. So you'll hear me say that. Okay. Getting back to the issue, ladies and gentlemen, a question that keeps coming up all the time is how to get rid of debt. It used to be easy to get rid of debt, but you can't do that now. So I did a series called the Lesson Series, L-E-S-S-O-N, Lesson Series. Or is it O-N or, yeah, 
this and give me a second problem loading then you better oh we're moving the eon channel to a different server and so that's what that window was telling me that it, the process is ongoing under maintenance so we're gonna go to youtube I'm going to type in Eon, I'm going to put a hyphen, and we're going to say Lesson. Uh-oh. And we're not going to put Lesson number one. We're going to put Lesson. There are four videos. Of course, we're not going to look at the sponsored junk. Shouldn't even be up there near my videos. That's Lesson four. I only saw two lessons so far. They should be here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry that the lesson series is not here. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to do less. That's lesson number three. Lesson number four. So we're going to do lesson space. I'm going to put the number symbol. Mess with me. Oh, it's going to give me the same stuff. Lesson number four. And... So, oh, I know what to do. Sorry, I apologize. Let me show you the easiest way to go there. You're going to click on the dollar sign. See it right there, dollar symbol, the icon? Icon. Naughty by nature. All right. Then we go, lesson. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, got to shut him up. Gentlemen. Hold on. Where'd he go? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, there you go. Shut up. Gotta go. All right, he taken care of. Then we can go to videos. And when we get the videos, there's all the videos. We can come here to this little symbol right here. That's the search bar. Magnifying glass. Search. L E S S O N. Enter. Go to the on channel, and you're gonna how to write off bad debts. Less than ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Nine minutes, thirteen seconds. How to fill out a 1099-C. 1099-C is important. But what you didn't know is about that K-1. Whoo, you're going to learn about it then. Then it's a citizen versus civilian. I just showed people yesterday where somebody was talking and they highlighted the difference between a civilian and citizen. And I pointed it out. Turns out it was an AI-generated video. Imagine that. Oh, well. Got to go, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a lot going on. But my job is to try to help you all realize that it isn't as dire as it is. You have more going for you than you have going against you. This is not no trying to help you, prop you up and support you and all that stuff. This is telling you the truth so that you get it. Now, look, I got to go. Really do hate saying that, but there's so much going on right now. But I'm glad you guys let me play Echoes of the Night because, you know, I like the song. And that's why I played in my background. Yeah, it, 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 it Eilish, it, it makes, it sounds a little bit like her, but you know, either way, I like it. Take care of yourselves, y'all. Speak to you next time.